Hi everybody, Mr. Boma from Mr. Boma's Balloons, and you know, I get so many questions from balloon newbies. So many questions! I simply don't have the time to answer them all. And so I put together this video of online balloon resources that will help you find the answers to all of your balloon questions. Now this is not by any stretch of the imagination. This is not a comprehensive list of balloon resources. There are so many resources out there. Um, but this is a list of some of the resources that helped me when I was getting started about three years ago. So hopefully you will find these resources as helpful as I found them. If you happen to be a balloon artist and I left your website or your YouTube channel out of this video, um, please do not take offense. I simply could not remember them all. I could not uh, fit them all into the video. Um, so please, uh, by all means, leave a link down in the comments to your blog or your website, your videos, um, or better yet, post that link on the Reddit page for Balloon Twisting, which is one of those resources which I'm going to talk about in this video. Um, now, as we go, I may go a little bit too fast. I'm going to have lists that display on the screen. You may want to uh, pause the video so that you can write down some information. So go ahead and grab a piece of paper and a pen or pencil, and let's get started. All right, if you are going to write down no other website, write this one down. It is www.reddit.com slash r slash balloon twisting. Now, if you're not familiar with Reddit, Reddit is a site where you can uh, share links, you can make text posts, and then people can comment on it. So in uh, some ways, it's a lot like a social network. You can also subscribe to the different groups. This is the balloon twisting group. Um, but this is where I have posted all of the links for the resources that I'm going to be talking about in this video. So you can see we've got instructional sites, we've got uh, stores, we've got um, blogs, there are forums, chat groups, Facebook groups. I've put all of these links here. Uh, so check this out and go through all of the links. Great resources. And add your own resources here. Add your own links to the sites that you like. Uh, again, it's reddit.com slash r slash balloon twisting. All right, since we are on YouTube, let's go ahead and talk about YouTube. Uh, people ask me what channels I like that I subscribe to. Uh, so here is a partial list of the channels that I've subscribed to. This is in alphabetical order. Um, and it is, again, by no means comprehensive. These are just some of the other balloon people who are here on YouTube. Um, some of these people are still active and produce videos all the time. Some of them haven't made videos in several years, but their older stuff is still really good and you should take a look at it. So this will get you started. Now, the other thing that I wanted to talk to you about here on YouTube is actually on my channel. So I'm going to click on Mr. Boma's Balloons. And as soon as my channel loads, you will see right below where it says Mr. Boma's Balloons, you see there are a bunch of links and the third one in says Playlists. So I have taken hundreds of balloon videos by dozens of different YouTubers, and I've organized them into playlists that are categorized. So you can see I have got aquatic animals, vehicles, weapons, um, bugs, birds, reptiles and amphibians. Um, now these are not all of the videos on YouTube. There's no way that I could include all of those. Um, but these are the videos that I personally happen to like, and so I've saved them into playlists. We're going into my mammals playlist right now so that you can see that within each playlist, I've also organized the videos. So I've got all of the dog videos grouped together. So I think I've got 18 or so dog videos here at the beginning, and then it goes to cat videos. Um, and then I think after that is monkey videos and then rabbit videos um, and so on and so forth. So they're all grouped together. So I think that helps make it easier to find things. 
uh, you're going to see there are going to be a couple of dead links coming up. Sometimes people either hide their videos, make them private, or they delete them. And so you get these deleted video space holders um, in there. Eventually, I'll go in and I'll delete those from my playlist and clean them up. Uh, you'll also notice at the bottom of my playlist are some out-of-order videos. Anytime I add a new video to the playlist, it gets added to the end. And so I only go in every couple of months and reorganize the videos and put them in order. So for now, the new ones are all at the bottom. Our next resource is BalloonHQ.com. This is the Balloon Headquarters. This is a great place for newbies to start. I think this is a gold mine of information. Looking over on the right here, this is where newbies should start. This is excellent information if you're just getting started out in the balloon business. Um, and if we scroll down, there is an artist directory. If you are actually going to be doing this professionally, add yourself to this directory. This is a way for people to find you. I refer people to this directory all the time. If I'm not available to take their job or it's out of my area, uh, it's also a great place to find other people uh, if you want to do a jam or a get-together or anything like that. So definitely add yourself to that directory. Over here on the left, we have a couple of forums. Forums used to be very popular before Facebook. Uh, they've kind of died out a little bit, but they are great archives of information. They're searchable, so if you have a question, you can go into any of the forums and post uh, a search and hopefully find the answer to your question. On the left here, these are professional resources. We've got a guide to balloon and ballooning. We've got photos and videos. Uh, but really, the gold mine is this monthly columns link. So every month, there are something like a half a dozen columns that are posted. These include things like uh, tutorials for designs. So up here, we've got a Knight's Shield design. There are articles about the business and about professional uh, things. There's, uh, let's see, this month there's one about medical considerations. Here's one about balloon history. So great, great, great resource, these columns. And here at the top, there is an archive, a link to the archive of past columns. So this is digging down. If we look at this, these columns, look, they go all the way back to 1999. That's 15 years of balloon knowledge here on this page. And I'm just going to scroll through here. You're going to see there are hundreds and hundreds of columns. This can answer so many of your questions. Um, great, great tutorials, great, great professional information, business information, um, these are columns by people who have been in the business for a long time, who really know the balloon business. Uh, it's just an amazing, amazing resource. Now, some of the things here on Balloon HQ are only accessible if you become a paid member, but I believe these archives are accessible to anyone. Um, I think what you need to pay for is maybe to be listed uh, in the Balloon Artist Registry, and I think also uh, to zoom in to some of the pictures. I think if you, you're not a member, all you get are uh, some of the thumbnails. Okay, other forums. I just mentioned the forums on Balloon HQ. There are three main other forums, balloonchat.co.uk, the balloon-animals.com forum, that's where I used to hang out, and the mbd2.com forum. Again, these might not be that active currently, but they've got lots of information from the past that you can search. The forums have been kind of replaced by Facebook groups. There are tons of Facebook groups. Uh, these are the four that I visit a lot, um, but there are tons more. There are very specific groups. There's a group about balloon artist bags and gear. There's a group for headbands. There's one for uh, balloon bouquets. So almost anything you're looking for, uh, there is a Facebook group about it, so definitely look into those. Uh, blogs have kind of also fallen away since Facebook has come into being, uh, but these are four good blogs that do get updated regularly, uh, so check those out. Instructional sites. Everybody wants to know where can I get instructions for uh, various different designs. 
Um, some of these are free sites. Some of these are paid sites. Uh, but these are a few good ones. Again, not comprehensive at all. But these are some of them that are available to get you started. Where to buy balloons? Um, there are three main retailers online. There are tons more, but these are the three that I hear people talk about the most. I actually don't order online because I have a local wholesaler that I can go to and walk in and buy my balloons. And lastly, oftentimes we forget that just doing a basic Google search will find us the information we need. If we're just looking for pictures, do an image search, check Instagram, Flickr, Pinterest, all great, great resources for you. All right, so there you have it. That is a good list of resources to get you started. It's not a comprehensive list, uh, but it is a great list to get you well on your way. All right, until next time, I am Mr. Boma from Mr. Boma's Balloons. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.